Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. You know, I've said it before, my favorite show of the year is The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. And I was so excited to get to interview two of the stars of this hit Netflix show. Take a look. I am so excited to get to talk to two of the stars of my favorite show of the year, The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. Joining me now is Russell Dennis Lewis and Matthew Dennis Lewis. Okay, wait, did I get that right? Which one's Russell? Yep, I'm Russell. Russell Matthew. and Matthew. <laughs> so I wanna know, you know, a lot of people who are not in Hollywood are fascinated by the audition process, how you get a, to be a part of a show like this, and what it was like going from the audition to then shooting the show. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the audition process just in general is just um, madness. You have hundreds if not thousands of people trying to get, you know, the same one role. So, I mean, just to be auditioning out of that number alone is just, you know, amazing to get that opportunity. Yeah. But uh, this show... Yeah, thankfully for this show, um, we worked with the director and writer Scott Frank previously on Godless and he wanted to work with us again, so he actually wrote these roles for us because our characters don't exist in the book. I love that. So he wrote it just for you guys. And what I love about the series too is these characters that you meet are kind of strung out throughout the series, so you don't see them one and done. You get to see them throughout the series, and I love that aspect of it. Right, yeah. yeah, they're one of the few characters that get to see Beth grow in her journey. By the way, where did you shoot the show? Because it looks beautiful, the sets, the fashion, amazing. What did that feel like to be on set with all those great costumes and, and the 1950s and 60s decor? It really puts you into the moment, you know, it really helps you get into that, you know, universe. And it was incredibly helpful when, you know, filming. Yeah, and we, we actually filmed it, uh, like even though most of it takes place in uh, the U.S., we actually filmed it in Berlin. So um, wow. uh, yeah. most of it was filmed in Berlin. Some of it, I believe they filmed in Toronto for a couple of weeks for some other stuff, but um, How long yeah. did it take to shoot? How long are you in Berlin? We were in Berlin for three months. The full production, I forget, like five or six? Yeah, um, yeah, but we were there for three, but we only worked like 12 days. So we, <laughs> are you serious? 12 days? <laughs> so it's kind, of, so it kind of a nice little vacation. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, so, you know, of course, everyone knows Beth Harmon, Anya yes. Taylor-Joy. Yes. It's uh, She is unbelievable. I can't picture anybody else in this role. No. What was it like to work with her, and was it a close set? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, she's amazing to work with. She's obviously brilliant um, and, and a very lovely person as well, which always makes the experience a lot better when the star of the show is also just a really nice human yeah. being. Genuinely sweet, um, you know. And yeah, the set was really close. Uh, the cast, crew, everyone, it's like one big family. And again, um, the writer and director, Scott Frank, he, he pulled some cast and crew from the previous series as well. So it was for us reuniting with yeah. a lot of our old friends that we'd worked on, you know, worked with a few years ago. Yeah, because there's so. three other actors from Godless as well as probably like four or five other crew members. Wow. Did you guys become close? Would you hang out, you know, at nighttime when you're not shooting? Yeah, with several of the actors. Yeah. 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 We got to explore Berlin and restaurants and... Uh, okay, so. Not so much with Anya, because she was too busy yeah. <laughs> memorizing like 300 games of chess. But <laughs> which okay, that's a, can, Could I ask you that? A lot of people have asked me, um, was... I don't play chess. I don't know chess moves. Yeah. Was that accurate? The game she was playing and the moves she yeah. was doing, that must have been so challenging to memorize. Even you guys who were playing some games against her, that had to have been so hard. We had we, we had a few uh, chess masters on set that made sure all the chess was 100% correct. Yeah, um, they were real games yeah. that they had to memorize the moves. Yeah. So every oh time, you see, yeah. So every time you see Anya playing chess, she had to memorize that game. For so not only are you memorizing lines, but you're memorizing chess moves. Yeah. 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 That is crazy. What What has the What's the feeling like knowing it started out, it's kind of gained momentum. You're getting overwhelming accolades and critical acclaim and people are loving it. How does that feel? I'm, I've been talking like about. a little bit of disbelief <laughs> and amazement at the same time. Like we had a feeling it was going to be a good show just because we've worked with the team previously. So we had, you know, pretty good expectations of what it would be, but we did not expect it to become an overnight success not only a success, but a success by word of mouth, because there wasn't a lot of promotion for it. You know, a lot of it has spread like wildfire, like by mouth. So that was- Well, I'm part of that word of mouth because I told everybody, everybody I can, you have to watch this show. 
I, I love the show so much. What is it like working with your brother? I have two brothers and I, I couldn't imagine working with my brothers. That's, for me, it'd be difficult. How's it for you guys? I mean, not bad. We get along <laughs> when they pay us to. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's fun, especially when you are in, you know, another country that you've never been. It's really fun to explore together and be able to have that experience with someone instead of just wandering around by yourself. Did you guys have to wear any wigs or anything for the show? Or is that all your natural hair in that? Well, that was his natural bangs. Those are my real bangs. <laughs> I loved your bangs, by the way. I loved them. <laughs> so I know you guys like to work together, but are you guys working on anything in the future we can look forward to seeing uh, separately or together? Well, right now, um, things are just starting to get back into the swing of things because of, you know, COVID and everything. A lot of Hollywood was shut down. Um, finally, auditions and stuff are coming back in. Uh, we have a couple of things, like we have a short film that's going to the film festivals right now that I had written and we were both in. And I'm also working on a feature film as well that we're about to get into pre-production that I wrote. Wow. So we've, we've been working on that in our downtime. Now, before I let you go, and again, I've been singing the praises of the show. If somebody's not seen the show, just give me a little elevator pitch on why they should watch it, what it, what it's about, and why people should watch it. Um, I would say because uh, it follows a real, not a real person, but a real person in a real world that doesn't have any action or violence or like like sex or nudity. Yeah. It's just like it's it's not wholesome, but it's. <laughs> It's a story that everyone can like relate it's to. It's so relatable and it's so mm -hmm. real that you don't mind the chess and like the slow character building because it, it, it just, you get so involved in this character because everyone knows this person. Everyone knows someone like this or, you know, and as a family or a friend. It, so I think it is just, it, that's why it's so palpable yeah. to people because it's so, so real. Mm -hmm. It's so relatable. I agree with you. It's so relatable. I related to a lot of the characters, especially Beth though, but you're rooting for her the whole time. The show is so great. I tell you what, guys, now I'm officially a fan of yours. I'll be watching for you in the movies and on TV, and I really appre appreciate your time today. Russell Dennis Lewis and Matthew Dennis Lewis, thank you so much. Thank I you wish much. you all the best of luck. Thank, thank you so you. much, Jeremy. Really we appreciate it. When you first mentioned them, I thought they had not been in the business before, but when they said they'd worked with the team before, they have been. Yes, yeah. So They were in a series called Godless, which okay. I've not seen. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, I haven't watched that yet. Um, but I want to watch it now because yeah. they're just really hard working actors. They're in, they're in it and they're, they're auditioning. Like I was communicating with them and I said, could you do this interview at this time? He goes, sorry, we're on an audition at that time. So we got to oh, do this. I'm like, so, so they're, just out there. Out. they're pounding the pavement. That's good for them. And I, I just admire them so much. But do they always work as a team? No, no. I, I did ask them that and they do separate projects, but they're always each other's support team. Well, and that's good. And they're twins. And usually when you have a twin, I, I think people are really on the same page and they really have a, a real bond. Yeah. They were joking, said they, you know, pay yeah. us to get along. But, but my favorite thing they said in that is it was based on a book, mm -hmm. The Queen's Gambit. It was the book in the 80s, I believe. And he said they'd worked with this director and writer on Godless. Oh. And he got along with them so well. He wrote that part especially for them. Oh, he wanted Those them characters there. weren't in the book. But he's like, you know what? We work great together. I'm going to write this special part just for you guys on this show. I love it. Isn't that great? Yeah, that is great. That tells you right there, always be nice to people. Always be kind That's because right. you never know who's going... You never know yeah. who you're going to meet on the way up or the way down. On the way down. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're and, lovely. And I've told them, I said, hey, once this is all over, if you're ever in the area, they have a lot of friends in Branson, too. Oh, they do. Come on the show. Oh, that'd be great. We'd love to have them. All right. Thanks, Jeremy. We'll be back with the Downtown Springfield Association. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Does that make you want to learn chess? I actually do. Yes, I do. It, not for me. I really, <laughs> I really want to learn it. 